lift up your voice and sing it to me. You are In a million years ago You are lost in this place We lift up our hands to say You are lost You are lost in this place Say pray for God is awesome and it's wonderful in this place. Thanks so much for tuning in to PRZ 109.2. My name is Remy Kende Tawo. I'm your host. I'm a woman that sits by the gates of nations with nobles, men, and virtuous women like yourself. I have come in the name of the Lord God, for it is written in the book of Psalm, Psalm 118 verse 20, 26. That blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So I, I declare myself blessed this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Before you, before the saints, the believers, the warriors, those who are standing, who are rising, who are ready to go through the tent of uh, of the psalmist, who are ready to call unto heavens, who are ready to ride through the high places, who are ready to, to walk through the scriptures. I welcome you to the presence of the Most High. I declare myself blessed, and I declare you blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. I declare everyone who is standing and rising, who is ready to wake the dawn in this holy convocation, I declare you blessed. I beckon unto people who are prepared to write through the scriptures tonight or this hour with me in the mighty name of Jesus. I call you that it's time to rise, to stand up and, and, and stand in the presence of God. I welcome you to the presence of the Most High. For it is written in the book of in, in Psalm 24 verse 6, it says, this is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, Sila, who seek your face. So I speak to generation of believers who are ready to seek the presence of God, who are ready to seek the face of the Lord. I pray that in this very season, you will not miss the visitation of God. I say to someone, someone who can hear me, I speak to a warrior. I said, the Lord will surely visit you. He will visit someone under the sound of my voice to this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. I welcome you to the presence of the Most High and to a season of change, to a season of manifestation, to a season when things begin to turn around, to a season when the, there will be divine location when when the Lord will be locating each and every one under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. A season when the Lord will reverse the irreversible. A season when the Lord God will raise men to help you, help us from different and go from four corners of the world to begin to locate you. You are in that season in the mighty name of Jesus. A season when destiny will start rising and start shining in the mighty name of Jesus. A season when the Lord will start lifting heads up in the mighty name of Jesus. A season when your enemies will be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus. A season for you to sing this song. I speak to someone not at the sound of my voice. I speak to, I said a time and a place for a, of rest in the mighty name as you walk with the Lord, as you stand before the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never be put to shame in Jesus' mighty name. A season when you will disgrace the enemy and, the, and every works of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. A season when you will see the hand of God, the valiant hand of God, the right hand of God will begin to appear to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak, I say a season when somebody who can hear me can feel the hand of the Lord, the hand of provision in the mighty name of Jesus. The, pray, the gracious hand of God will fall on someone to this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. A season when you will laugh because Sarah said the Lord has made me to laugh and those who hear will laugh with me. A season of laugh after I speak to someone, it's a, a season of joy, it's a season when you'll be honored in the mighty name of Jesus. When the seat of honor in your father's house will not be taken, in the, when you will take your position uh, among your 
appears in the mighty name of Jesus. A season when your coat will be a latch. I speak to someone. A season when every limitation will be moved. Every, every ceiling will be shattered in the mighty name of Jesus. I said a season when things will begin to take shape in the mighty name of Jesus. When deals of heaven will begin to reign in the mighty name of Jesus. I welcome you to the presence of the Most High. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be glorious this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, my name is Remy Kendi Taiwo. I welcome you to this special conference. It's the prayer rally special conference. The pray, theme, the prayer, the prayer of the psalmist. We are walking through the scriptures. We've been going through the books of Psalms, and we are now today. We are going to open the volume, the very third volume. Let me say the third volume of the Psalms. But before we do so, let's declare this meeting open wherever you are. Everyone under the sound of my wherever you are, anyone that can hear me, I speak to warriors and valiant men and women who are ready to take it by by force. Who are ready to grab it we are ready to yank it tonight i welcome you to the presence of god and we declare this meeting open in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy spirit let the presence of god the awesome presence of god fill your home i call forth the sovereignty of god i declare the glory of god for the bible says from the rising of the sun to the going down of it your name O god shall be made great we declare the greatness of god the awesomeness of god in every home everyone other the sound of my voice i declare the awesomeness of god in the mighty name of jesus i pray that this spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, we sweep through every tent. We go, begin to move mightily in every tent in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask the fire of God, the fire of Holy Spirit to surround each and every one and to surround me right now from the studio as I'm broadcasting from the studio this very hour in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask the Spirit of God and the angel of God to take position in every four corners as we begin, as we start this prayer conference in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Once again, you are welcome to the presence of God as we're going to charge in the scriptures. The word of God that is coming to my spirit is the word of Isaiah the prophet. I want to quote the word of Isaiah the prophet in Isaiah 52 verse 7. He said, how beautiful upon the mountain I speak to someone at the feet of those who bring good news, who bring, who proclaim peace, who bring glad tidings of good things, who proclaim peace salvation who says to zion your god reigns he said how beautiful upon the mountain as i stand before you <laughs> warriors daughters and sons of zion i declare my feet beautiful i declare it golden i say right before your eyes things will begin to change in this prayer conference they, they, as we proceed in the mighty name of jesus i said right before your eyes things will begin to turn around in the mighty name of jesus you are welcome in the presence of the my i welcome you to the presence of god so let's declare let's start the prayer conference quickly we are going to run through the tent of the psalmist and the psalmist that we're going to run through this is volume three. Let me say it's volume three of the old book of the Psalms. We said the old book is divided into five books, five books. The old 150 Psalms of the Psalm, the book of Psalms is divided into five sections. We've done section one, which is volume one from one to 41. Section two, volume two, which, which is from 42, Psalm 42 to 72. Section three is from 73 to 89. And section four is from 90 to 106. Section five, is 107 to 150. Altogether, there are five books matched together to form the whole book of the book of Psalms. So to, to this hour, we are opening, helping open the third book, the third book of the Psalms. And the first period Psalms, uh, the Psalmist, we're going to visit the tent as you ride with me, and as you're going to stand with uh, before the, the, at the gates of this tent, is the tent of the Asaph. Uh, the tent of Asaph. We will we'll, we'll, we'll walk through it. The, the, so we start this prayer conference. We uh, Please turn your Bible to Psalm 73. We start from 73 onward. This is the vol vol volume 3, the third volume uh, we're going to trash through. In the mighty name of Jesus, within the next 60 minutes, in Jesus' mighty name. The Psalm of Asaph, starting from 73. We, we've met Asaph once. Asaph wrote, uh, wrote the book of uh, the Psalm, chapter 50. He wrote chapter 50. And today we're going to look at the rest of the book of Psalms and to, 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 to and the next series. This is series one. The book of Psalms, uh, Asaph, Asaph wrote 12 Psalms altogether just for the Bible scholars. He, he wrote 12 Psalms altogether. Psalm 50, this particular one we're about to do, 73, right up to 83. They're all the book of Psalms. I'm speaking to someone, not at the sound of my voice, that they're written by Asaph. Asaph 
is one of was a descendant of um, Jeshom, Geshem, the son of Levi. Is from is the house of uh, is a Levite, house of Levite, identify as member of Levite, uh, one of the lineage of Geshem, the very firstborn of Levi. That is Asaph. You have entered the tent. This particular person was one of the three Levites commissioned by David to be in charge of singing in the house of uh, the Lord. When you open your Bible in the book of First Chronicles, let me say First Chronicles, the Acts of the King, chapter six, verse thirty-nine. You will see this great man. He was appointed to work next to Aman. Aman is another popular musician or composer. He, he was meant to work with Aman as the, as Aman's right hand assistant. So I welcome you to to the Asaf, the Asaf that you're seeing to this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. The tent that you're standing is the tent of the sons of Levi, the line of Geshem, the very firstborn of the Levi, the ruling family. He served as, as an official for several years, right through from King David also right till the time of Solomon. He served the two uh, um, uh, king at the time. This uh, Asaph, you also see me in Second Chronicles chapter five, verse twelve. Uh, he served a long time and he complained a lot, which we saw in uh, Psalm fifty. He complained a lot about the corruption and uh, among the rich and the influential. So it's about corruption. It's about what is going in the society. Is uh, the Psalm of Asaph is more of a communal Psalm. It's something to do with the general public. What was going on in the community? So I welcome you to chapter seventy three. Someone not understand of my voice. I'm speaking to warrior who is ready to stand at this gate and begin to look through and begin to walk through the book of these psalms with me in the mighty name of God and with the host of heavens as we write through. I, I, I hope you are ready. Let's, let's, we, we should be ready. 28 verses all together, 73, I speak to someone. It start with, I, I will be jumping some, we just go to relevant places in the book of Psalms as we go through the psalms of Asaph. The psalms of Asaph. Truly, uh, verse 1, it said, truly God is good to Israel for such as are pure in heart. Let me declare the Lord is good to those who are pure in heart. Someone help me stand. Declare it open wherever you are in your place. As you stand by this gate, begin to speak. It's a, it's a statement of make a declaration that the Lord God is good to Israel. Is good to Remy. Is good to begin to personalize it. He is good to us uh, to, for, to such as are pure in heart. The Lord is good. Let, let, just help me declare that as you stand with me in this prayer conference. Verse 1 of uh, Psalm 73. Someone know that the stand of my voice who we stand firmly and say the lord is good to us in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name please let me de declare de decree the word in jesus name for verse 2 says but as for me more he came my feet had almost stumbled but my steps had nearly slipped he said as for me someone help me stand and stand very well and speak at this junction but as for me he came this feet will not stumble help me tell you. you will not fall it into error you will not falter someone on the understand of my voice who will flip begin to flip this verse around begin to flip it around as you are going through the tent of this asafa the man who complains a lot about the community and the corruption the society please help me walk through it and begin to walk through that as for me more i will not fall i will not stumble i will not walk into error somebody i will not sleep in the mighty name of jesus I begin to speak to you because the bible says the ways of the good man the ways of the righteous they are ordered by god according to the psalmist psalm of david psalm 37 23 someone under the sound of my voice who will pull their sword out who will pull the word of the lord out and we turn it to sword in that we use this sword and speak that as for me i my ways, the ways of my children, the ways will deliver, will be, begin to die. It. They are ordered by God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Begin, let's begin to go. For he was talk, complaining, verse 3 said, I was envious of the boastful, but I saw the prosperity of the wicked. He saw that there the, the were so many things happening. When you walk all the way down to 11, he was still complaining about what they were doing in the society. But I want us to rise. That whatever the wicked are doing, you will not take part. Because the Bible says, I will now quote, and I will begin to use the scriptures. That blessed are those, in Psalm 111, the Bible says, blessed are those who will not sit among the, the, the who, uh, blessed is the man who does not walk in the council of the wicked or ungodly or stand in the ways of sinner nor sit in the seat of the scuffle so we are blessed so i'm not among them i'm not among those i declare myself blessed on another the sound of my voice who is walking through the tent of asaf with me tonight and begin to say we will not compromise in the mighty name of jesus so i declare myself blessed my children blessed because we will not walk we will not sit with the sinner neither sit among the scoffers in the mighty name of jesus or with the ungodly in the we will not stand with the ungodly in the mighty name of jesus in jesus mighty name please let me jump when you are 
you're looking through uh, 28 verses, help me jump to verse 18. Someone on that sound of my voice and say, surely, help me decree, underline that. Uh, you set them in slippery places. You cast them down to destruction. I say, surely, I declare the end. Begin to declare the end of the wicked people. That That is evil spirit. I'm talking about negative spirit. I'm talking about it's the, it's spiritual stuff. I said, let them be slippery. In the, they, I cast them down to destruction. Every every appearances of wickedness around and about me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, he it, it said in verse 19, oh, how they are brought to dissolution, uh, desolate, dissolution as in moment, and they're utterly consumed with terror. So every wicked things begin to declare it. Ah, if I were you, let's begin to turn it around. Let this turn into a golden sword in your hand. If you pull it out and you pull it by faith, it will become a sword. I said they will utterly be consumed by with terror in the mighty name of Jesus. I terrorize whatever is terrorizing me. I speak and I stand. I turn around to you. I speak to anything that is chasing you, anything that might be chasing me in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to personalize it. Someone on the sound of my voice in Jesus' name. Whatever might be chasing you, whatever has been chasing you, whatever begin to say it, turn around and decree the word of God. They it will be utterly consumed with terror, according to the word of God in, in Psalm 73, verse 19, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I declare an end to every spirit that is contrary to the spirit of God around about me in my life, anything, every every appearances in your life, in your home, in your marriage, every, someone under the sound of my voice, let them be utterly destroyed with terror, in Jesus' mighty name. And because if you jump, let me jump into verse 23, someone under the sound of my voice, voice he said, nevertheless, I speak to a warrior. I am continually with you. Begin to declare. You hold me by your right, right hand. Nevertheless, regardless of what I'm going through, somebody has not spoken yet. I said, nevertheless, you need to speak out, Yekimakosoto. But God, because Job said, nevertheless, Yekimakosoto, my redeemer liveth, Yekimakosoto. He said, but my redeemer liveth. I speak to someone on that sound of I said, nevertheless, Yekim. I, Yekima, Remy, Kende Taiwo, we continually stay with the Lord, Yekim. I said, regardless of what is happening around me, you will hold me. You will not let me fall in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not fall fall in the mighty name of but you will hold me by your right hand because according to the word of god i'm speaking to a warrior in the book of joshua joshua chapter 12 you will see the list of defeated king i stand in this place i said i will not have such evil record i will not be among the defeated marriage you will not be among the defeated children or uh, children of god i will not be among beginning to say that i will not be among the defeated people in the christians in the mighty name of jesus i will not be defeated i will not be listed in the mighty name of jesus i, I will never the less i say to someone 73 23 that I am continually with the Lord. He will hold me by his right hand in the mighty name of Jesus. So you, he said, let me jump into 24, verse 24. He said, you will guide me with your counsel. Somebody has not spoken. And afterwards, receive me to glory. He said, you will, you will guide me all throughout my life with, with your counsel. Somebody on that side. I said, the word of God, I speak to someone because he said, you, he will guide me. I speak to the word, begin to say, that the spirit of counsel will not depart. Somebody has not, it will not depart from your walking life as you're walking through the tent of the Asaf. Someone on that side of my my voice, who is running, who is walking, who is chanting, who is ready to go through and de decree that in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, that he will guide me with his counsel, with your counsel, Lord God. You will guide me according to 24. So the spirit of counsel will not depart. You will guide my children. You will guide my home. You will guide your ministry, every work that you have given me. You will guide me. Afterward, you will receive me into your glory. You will guide me all the days of my life. You will guide me to the ends of uh, 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 ends of earth. You will guide me to the old age. Someone on that side of my voice, they begin to say, you will guide all that you have given unto me, you will guide them with your counsel. You, whatever is guiding you, make sure you have counsel. Whatever is guiding you, make sure the spirit of counsel doesn't depart. If I were you, I will call forth the, all the seven spirits of God, the spirit of knowledge, let me call it, the spirit of understanding, someone on that stand of my voice, begin to call it, the, the spirit of wisdom, begin to call forth. I say begin to come forth in the mighty name of, and appear in my life and walk all the way with me throughout my journey in life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Verse 25 says, please let me jump into 25. Say, whom have I in heaven but you? I may declare that. And there's none upon earth that I desire beside you. That is a statement. That is a declaration. Somebody just walk around. I said, who, who have I in heaven but you? I have got no other God except you. That is what you are saying. I have no other God. Somebody help me declare that, that you have no other God. Begin to declare. Hear, O heavens, <laughs> and listen, O earth. Hear, O mountains, begin to declare to everything that needs to hear, because everything that has name has ears. Begin to speak to it. That, hear, O Yekima, I have nobody in heavens if I were you. I 
will ride through the high places. I will ride through and knock the gate of heaven. Some other than the sound of my voice. I will say unto the Lord, but God, Yekima, whom I have nobody in this heaven except you. Because heaven is your throne, O God, according to the word of Isaiah in 66 verse 1. I said, heaven is your throne. I declare that, uh, that heaven is your throne. And I have no one there but you, O God, as I lift my voice unto the heavens. As I lift my voice, is unto you, O God, that I call in the mighty name of Jesus. And he said, upon the earth, there is no one beside the in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no one beside the Lord in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus as we decrease so so shall it be in Jesus mighty mighty name according to the word of the the psalmist as we are walking through the tent of Asaph someone under the sound of my voice we will go and look at uh, verse 26 they said my flesh and my heart they fails but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever begin to declare and begin to turn it around my flesh will not fill me my heart will not fill somebody has not spoken as I'm walking through the tent of the Asaph I stand upon 26 and I make a declaration that as for more and everyone under the sound of my voice your 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 heart will not fail you your strength will not fail you your flesh will not fail you because it's your strength you get the joy of the lord the bible says is our strength you will stand and you use the scriptures that it is written that your the joy of the lord is our strength so i declare oh god that you will strengthen my path you will send, strengthen my heart in the mighty name of jesus for verse 27 somebody help, come 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 and write down write down to 27 says psalm 73 verse 27 for indeed i speak to someone those who are far from you shall perish you have destroyed all those who desert you for a lottery he said those who are far from you they they, they who are far from you shall perish i will not perish somebody because you are working with the lord those who are working with the lord will live let me speak to someone i said those who are working with the lord will live those who are working with the lord i speak to you i said we live according to what the scripture begin to rise up and begin to say that i am i will walk before the lord in the land of the living somebody has not spoken hey please run to the tent of david psalm 116 if you can run if you can get that 116 verse 9 as for me more remy and everyone under the sound of my voice i said we will walk before the lord in the land of the living in the mighty name of jesus i will not be deserted i will not perish i will not be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus for verse 28 this is where i stop verse 28 as you're coming out of the the, the tent of the asafa 73 he said but it is good but it is good for me to draw near to god it is advisable i speak to someone begin to declare it is good for me it is good for us in our house it is good for us in our tent to draw near to god and I, I, I have put my trust in the lord god that i may declare all your good works somebody help me declare that in jesus mighty name he said it is good for me to declare to draw near to god i have put my trust in the lord that i may declare all your good works so it is good for me to declare the by trust in the lord begin to rise up and begin to say it is good for us because the bible says it's in the book of ah if we can run to james 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 the word of james the word of god in in the book of james the james chapter 4 verse 8 he advised he said draw near to god he will draw near to you cleanse your hands you sinners and purify your heart you double-minded so i stand on this word i say when i draw to him when i draw near to god he will draw near to me when you seek his face you will find him I speak to someone. I so I use these scriptures. I said, it is good I speak to my soul. It is good I speak to my children. I, it is good I speak to my husband. It is good I speak to speak to a wife. Someone on the side of mine. It is good to draw near to God. Begin to speak to somebody's mind, somebody's soul. I say, hear ye the word of God. I speak the word of life into you, the word of power. I say, it is good for you to, to draw near to God in the mighty name of Jesus. It is good for you to have trust in him in the mighty name of Jesus. As you decree that, so be it in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Hey, Mr. Amen. Begin to come out begin to come out come out in the presence of god because even in the book of uh, jeremiah jeremiah chapter 29 verse 12 to 14 he says something he said then you can i speak to someone you will call upon me and me and go and pray to me and i will listen to you then you came out those who are seeking the lord those who are close to him they will call upon him and he said they will listen in the mighty name of jesus he said you will seek me then you will find me you will seek him you will find him no wonder jesus said when you seek him when you knock you find he, the door will be open when you seek him you will find him according to the word of because it is uh, according to the word of jeremiah in 29 verse 12 and 14 so i speak to someone you will find god as you are coming out of uh, the tent of asaf begin to go to another one in the mighty name of jesus uh, as you are uh, going through this uh, psalm psalm 74 someone other the sound, uh, sound of my voice who is ready to run with it who is ready i'm speaking to a warrior who can hear me very well i said 74 please turn your bible to chapter 74 the psalm of asaf 
altogether 12 Psalms, 73 right up to 83. So this one also is Asaf. So I welcome you to the household, to the tent of Asaf, someone for the second time as you step in or for the third time because we have passed through 50. It was written by Asaf and 73 by Asaf. So I welcome you to the third, to the very third tent as you are coming through to the tent of Asaf. I say, speak to someone. This is Psalm 74. Begin to pray. The title of this one is a plea for relief from oppression. Somebody who needs to be, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to ask for relief from oppressors. Well, this is your Psalm. This is your, please stand well and stand very well. A contemplation of Asaf, a contemplation, the time of reflective moment, reflective period for Asaf. 23 verses all together, but we're going to run through it. You say, Oh God, please, why have you cast off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? It was just meditating. Someone under the sun, flip this, uh, begin to flip these uh, scriptures around uh, and said, Oh God, oh God, you will be with us forever. You will not cast us off. You will dwell with us forever. You, we will hear you among the pastures. You will not be against the sheep of your pastors. Your anger will not begin to say, begin to speak. You will not see the anger. If I were you, I will crush the anger. I said, I will not see the anger of God or the anger of man. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of anger, I crush it. Someone, as you're walking through this tent and you're meditating with Asaf, as you're walking through, the anger will have no place. Because you have come across it now, you are walking over it. You, you will trample over this one. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be tripped off by anger. In the mighty name of Jesus. So he said, verse 2 says, remember your congregation, O God. We are looking at uh, Psalm 74, verse 2. He said, remember your congregation, which you have purchased of hold, the tribe of your inheritance, which you have redeemed. This Mount, Mount Zion, where you have dealt. He said, remember. I speak to someone who will use the scriptures. I said, God, remember me. The tribe of your inheritance. God, remember me. Someone, that is your, begin to say, God, remember your congregation. Remember your church. Remember your ministry that you have committed. The one you purchase of old. Someone help me use this and stand very well. <laughs> Psalm 74. Help me say 74 verse 2. Stand very well and use that word. Verse 2 says, remember your congregation. You must tell God to remember something. You remember the works. Remember our deed. Remember our ministry. Remember our home. Remember our children. That do everything that you have purchased of old as a, a tribe of inheritance. Remember us. Somebody help me declare that and begin to pray that the Lord God will remember you the which you have redeemed. For the Bible says let the redeem of the lord say so they need to say so those whom he has redeemed from their foes they should rise up and say so in the mighty name of jesus those that you have purchased with your precious blood somebody has not spoken remember us let me decree that make, make sure you're shouting to heavens make sure you can be heard speak from the your bottom of your soul that god remember us in this season in jesus mighty name he said lift up your feet to the perpetual the desolation the enemy has damaged everything in this sanctuary every every satanic attack in the church begin to destroy it everything that your sanctuary is your place of peace your home everything every damage there begin to restore in the mighty name of jesus if you can walk through the tent of asaf you will speak to the enemies at the gate you will capture the enemy that you will turn your battle at the gate you will begin to speak everything that has been damaged hear ye the word of god begin to begin to they must be restored in the mighty name of jesus they must be repaired somebody has not spoken i said they must be restored and repaired in the mighty name of they must be repositioned in jesus mighty name so I speak to everything that has been damaged, whatever the devil, in any way, in any shape, every foothold, that is what I'm talking to, I begin to speak to it. Every addiction, everything that the devil has damaged in our home, in our emotions, in our life, someone under the sound of my voice, as you're walking through the tent of Asaf, begin to crush, begin to speak to such things. I said, I position them. I said, they are restored. I speak the word of life into them. Whatever is damaged in my own, I say, receive life and understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. You, he said, enemy roar in the midst of meeting places and they set up their banner for sign so i destroy begin to destroy according to verse 4 the work of the enemy i said they will not roar in my meeting place they will not no conflict no riot no revolution in your home no there won't be any dis any disagreement in the mighty name. every spirit of conflict and disagreement someone under the sound of my voice who is passing who is running who is riding to the tent of asaf we begin to destroy every every revolution in the spirit every revolution among 
among your children and your home, every revolution, whatever the con of confusion, I call an end to it in the mighty name of Jesus. He said in verse 8, let me look at it. They said in their heart, let us destroy them together. They have burned all the meeting places of God in the land. He was just complaining, was a communal uh, in, 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 in Psalms. He was just talking, complaining about what was going on, begin to de decree that everything that has been destroyed in the meeting places of God in the land, I speak to this land. Hear, oh, help me speak to the land. Land, land, land. Like according to the word of uh, the prophet, the word of old, the prophet of old, Jeremiah, land, 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 Jeremiah 22, 29, someone under the sound of my voice, who will uh, use that uh, and say, you will hear the word of the Lord. I said, nothing will be burnt, nothing will be destroyed. Every spirit of destruction in the land begin to come against it. Speak for the nation, because the Bible says you must pray for the nation wherever you are, because in their welfare, that is where your welfare is. According to Jeremiah 29, 7, I speak to someone, begin to speak to the land, that every form of destruction in the land will stand against it as a Christian. We speak against it as I walk through the psalm of um, the tent of Asaph tonight, this hour, in the mighty name of Jesus, I, I walk through. He said, by your strength, O God, you divide the you divided the sea by your strength. Verse 13, someone know that the sand, and you broke the heads of the sea serpent in the waters. Begin to declare the power of God, that you will do it again. I say, he will do it again. Help me declare someone who is running through this psalm, who is running through the tent. Begin to declare that the Lord God, you will divide the sea by your strength again, in the the mighty name of Jesus, you will break the head of every sea of serpents in the waters, every tr troubled waters. I speak to whatever is troubling the water of your life or of my life. I speak to it. I said, the Lord God, he, 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 we rise up and break the heads of every beast, every marine power, any power under the sea, anything that is not of God, that is creating um, uh, troubled waters, uh, deep waters for someone under the sun and will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. The, the Bible says in verse 16, help me go to 16, he said, the day is yours, the night also is yours. Please stand very well. You have prepared light and sun. Help me declare that. Because the Bible says from the rising of the sun, I speak to someone, to the going down of it, according to the word of God, in, he said, his name shall be made great. Someone help me declare that. Help me decree I said from the rising of the sun, to the going down of it, the Bible says, his name, he said, my name shall be made great, great, according to the word of God in Malachi chapter 1 verse 11. Someone under the sound of my voice, we will use these scriptures and begin to turn it around. So I declare, as I stand in this place, let me stand very well. The day is yours, let me stay there. And the night is also yours too. You have prepared day and night in the mighty name of Jesus. I also, if you can run, please let me run. Run to the tent of David in Psalm 19, 19 verse 2. It said, day unto day utter speech. I speak to someone, I, and the night unto night uh, revealeth knowledge. I say today, you, the day is yours, I, dec I decree that. And I say the night is also yours. So let the day begin to speak better things. Let the day begin to roll out well for me. Somebody has not spoken. Let the day begin to bring forth the Kima. Let the day begin to yield its best for me in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to the night. I say you will reveal knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy every arrow that flies by night, every terror of the night in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Verse 18, please let me run quickly through it. He said, remember this I say, with a comma. I speak to someone, verse 18 of Psalm 74, the Psalm of Asaph. Remember this, please let me repeat it, that the enemy has reproached, O Lord, and that a foolish and foolish and that a foolish people has blasphemed your name. He said, remember this, that the enemy has reproached, begin to stand. Every reproach of the enemy, he said, remember this, the words of the enemy, he said, remember this, whatever they have said that could make you cry, he said, remember this, every reproach sometimes, O Lord, begin to present before the Lord, someone not understand on my voice who is ready to pray. I'm speaking to warriors, I'm speaking to daughters and sons of Zion who are ready to, uh, to to trash this, who are ready to pull this out. If you pull it out nicely we, we by faith, it will turn into sword in your hand. And I say, remember this. Somebody do not forget it. Psalm 74 verse 18. Remember this, O Lord, that the enemy has rep uh, re uh, reproached. He said, remember this, that they have said a lot. Remember this. Just as Nehemiah continued to say, Nehemiah, Nehemiah 4 4. He said, hear, O God, how we have been despised. Someone know that the sound of my voice. We will remember the, the word of Nehemiah in uh, chapter 4 verse 4 and pull it out and become a sword in your hand in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Please let me go to verse 21. Jump into 21. 
Job into 21. He said, Oh, do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Do not let those who are oppressed, do not let them be ashamed. Let the poor and the needy praise your name. Help me stand here. I said, Those who are oppressed, speak on behalf of, uh, intercede for people and stand very well. I said, Let those who are oppressed, I speak to someone, let them return on, uh, let them not return, let them not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Somebody under the sound of my voice who will use this, uh, that the oppressed will not return ashamed. Ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus, I will not return ashamed. Somebody help me begin to decree. In, we will not be ashamed. Help me crush the word shame, the spirit of shame in the mighty name of Jesus. You will have cause to praise God as you are passing through this tent. Someone another the sign of my voice as you are passing through in the mighty name of Jesus. For verse twenty-two, help me say verse twenty-two of Psalm seventy-four says, "Arise." Verse twenty-two, help me say it. Arise, O God. Help me call unto God. Hear, O God. Hear, O heavens. Knock on the gate of heavens. Someone another the sign of my voice. Knock, you came up by faith. He said, Arise, O God, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproached you daily. We will survive talking against the work of God, is reproaching God. He said, But arise, O God, arise and fight this battle. Arise, this battle is yours. He said, The battle is mine. He came also. So, someone under the sound of my voice will say, Arise for us, O God, and this battle is yours. Begin to say, God, arise. 74, verse 22. He said, Arise, O God. That word, do not forget. That word, repeat to say, it. That word, begin to knock on the gate of heavens and say, But God, arise. Arise. Arise for us as we come to this gate. Arise for us as we present ourselves this hour. Arise, O God. Arise, O God. Because verse 23, as you are coming out, as you come out of this, begin to make your way out of 74. He said, but verse 23, let me say 23, the end of that chapter, chapter 74, you begin to say, do not forget the voice of your enemy. The torment of those who rise up against you increases continually. He said, but God, do not forget the voice of your enemy. They begin to say, but God, do not forget the voice of my enemy. Ye came across to someone not understand on my voice. But I said, but God, do not. I will knock on the gate of heaven. Sir. I will make sure I get into the holies of holies. I will speak before the throne of grace. Sir. So I'm speaking to warrior. I'm speaking to daughters of Zion. We will raise up their voice sir, and say, but God, if there is one thing, make sure you leave something as you are coming out. As well, make sure you leave a voice before the throne of grace as you are coming out of Psalm 74. Leave a voice before the Lord and say, but God, do not forget the voice of your any of my enemy. Of your enemy, begin to say it. But God, do not forget, 74, Psalm 74, verse 23. God, do not forget in Jesus' mighty name. Begin to come out. Whatever you are leaving behind, make sure you leave the word. Whatever you are leaving behind, make sure you leave something before the throne of grace. Whatever you are leaving, the, make sure you are heard in the holies of holies. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will honor you. Let's begin to write through 75. Someone under the sound of my voice, we are going to write through quickly in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, psalm 75 too is a psalm of Asaph. Let me say Asaph, the Asaphite. is a psalm of Asaph, the grand, grand, grandson of Geshem, the son of Levi. I said we are coming to the tent of Asaph again for the fourth time. Help me step in Yekima, Psalm 75. And said, is it, the title of this psalm is Thanksgiving for God's Righteous Judgment. Please adjust yourself, adjust your seat, adjust your uh, bed. He said it's a thanksgiving for God, uh, for the righteous judgment of God to the chief musician. This one out of all the Psalms, it is special for as long as our service goes. He said this is special. Set not to be destroyed. Do not destroy. This is my thanksgiving. Uh, let it be a record in Israel as somebody will write this tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a Psalm of Asaf and it's a song. It's a Psalm, it's a song. Two features to you, just like Psalms 48, 40, 65, 66, 67, 65 that we have walked through. This one is different for Asaf. Please, it makes so much difference. T 10 verses. Uh, and somebody help me. Say, give thanks to the Lord. Verse 1. Someone under the sound of my voice. I say, give thanks to you. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks for your wondrous work. And uh, works declare that your name is near. The work of God is declaring the wondrous work of God. It is showing that the Lord is in this place. It's near you. It's near someone under the sound of my voice. I said, give thanks to God. Begin to declare that. It's a thanksgiving. It's, it's, it's 10 verses all together. We will give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks to you in the, your, for your wondrous work. We declare that your name is near to is near to us. It's near in the mighty name of Jesus. If you help me run to the tent of David, the came Psalm of David in 115. Help me say 115 verse 1. He said, not unto us, O God, not unto us. Unto you we give all the glory. Unto you we give all the honor. Somebody under the sound of my voice we will run through the tent of Asaph and run back to the tent of Asaph and come back to verse 2. Help me say verse 2 of Psalm 75. He said, we, when I choose the proper time, you will
we judge uprightly. If the earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved, you set up your pillars firmly. Help me say, but verse 4 is where I wanted. I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully, and to the wicked, do not lift up your horns in Jesus' mighty name. Begin to personalize this prayer. I begin to say, I Remy can the title. And everyone know that the sign. I said to he said, I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully. Verse 4 of 75. And to the wicked, do not lift your horns. Because hey, the lifter of heads is here. He said, That oh Lord God, the lifter of heads, you are the lifter of my head. He came in Psalm 3, verse 3. The lifter of heads. Somebody helped me say. It. I said, I'm lifting my head, and I said to the to the wicked, do not lift your horns in the mighty name of I speak and I, I deal with the boastful. I say, be silent in the mighty name of Jesus. The lifter of head is here. Is near me, begin to declare that in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. He said, Do not lift up your horns on the high and do not speak with stiff neck. Please speak to your enemy. I said, You will not lift your horns on high to me. Neither will you speak with stiff neck in the mighty name. Every proud, whether you are speaking to the spirit of pride, begin to crush it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every intimidation, somebody has not spoken. Every intimidation, if you look at it with the eyes of the spirit, every spirit of intimidation, I come against it in the mighty name as i'm passing through and as i'm giving thanks to the lord in the mighty name of jesus he said for exhortation comes for neither from the east let me say not that from the east according to verse 6 75 verse 6 let me say 75 verse 6 you won't forget for exhortation comes neither from the east nor from the west but nor from the south everything comes from the lord let me say from the lord he said it doesn't come from all those angles but they come from the heavens above i said exhortation is unto the lord in the mighty name of jesus as you decree that let it be so in jesus mighty name. you will only give thanks to god you you only look upward. You will look up to the heavens. He said, I lift up my eyes to the hills. I am my eyes to the hills. Where will my help come from? It will come from heavens, from the maker of heaven and earth. It will come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. I'm speaking to someone. Because verse 7, let me say verse 7 of 75. Sam said, but God is the judge. He put down one and exhort another. He said, God is the judge. Let me say, he said, God is the judge. He will put down one and exhort another. I stand in this place and I begin to flip these scriptures around. I said, therefore, the Lord will lift me up. Help me say it. I will be lifted. Yes, I am lifted. Somebody help me say it. The Lord will lift me up. He will lift my household. He will lift my work. He will lift my ministry. This God is the judge who puts one down and lift the other. But as I stand in this place, I ask O oh God that I will be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Please let me look at verse 9 of 75. Someone under the sound of my voice. You say, but I will declare forever. Help me say it. But regardless of what I go through, I say, but verse 9 of Psalm 75. I we sing praises to the God of Jacob. Help me declare it. But help me say, regardless, nevertheless. But ye came I will sing praises to the God forever. But ye came, regardless of the way he takes me. And he said, But I will sing praises to the Lord. Because the word of Job came to my the Job said in 2310. He said, But he knows the way I will take ye came After he has tried me, after he has tested me, I will come forth as God. I'm speaking to someone. But I will declare forever. I will sing praises. Regardless of that situation you are going through. But that is your word. If that is you, begin to turn it around. Begin to pull it gently. Begin to pull it by faith, but it will turn into sword in your heart. You begin to pull it out. I say 75 verse 9. He said, but I will declare forever and I will sing praises to the Lord, uh, to the God of Jacob. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Let all the horns of the wicked be cut off. Let me declare that as you are coming out. As you are giving thanks, somebody, as you are coming out of the tent of uh, Asa for, for the fourth time, let me say, you came out, all the horns of the wicked, I decree in this place. I stand in this place, in this holy convocation. I agree with someone not that the sound of my voice. They will be cut off. Begin to say it. Eh? All the ones of the righteous shall be exalted. Let me say it. The ones of the righteous. The Bible says they will be exalted. It said the lifter of earth is air. They will be exalted. I come to I didn't call it to Psalm 3. He said that, oh Lord, the lifter of earth. They will be exalted. Because the psalm, if you can run, 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 run to the psalm of David, Psalm 140. Let me say 140. Verse 7 said, You you cover my head in the days of battle. The lifter of earth will lift my horns in the mighty name of Jesus. He said the ones of the righteous. I speak to someone shall be lifted. My arms I declare before the throne of grace. I said it will be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. I am lifted in Jesus' mighty name. May you remain lifted in the mighty name of the Lord. May you possess the gate of your enemy in Jesus. May the Lord give you words, mouth to talk, the words of thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. As you are coming out, begin to come out with thanksgiving. As you are coming out through the tent of 75, begin to come out with thanksgiving. Begin to come out rejoicing. Begin to come out knowing that the exhort is the only one that can exhort you. Begin to come out knowing that the only the help comes from 
nowhere else but from the Lord. It doesn't come from the east or west or south. It comes from the one God. Begin to come and begin to give thanks to God. Because verse 1 of it says, we give thanks to God. Oh God, we give thanks for your wondrous work. We declare that your name is near. The name of God will be near to you in Jesus' mighty name. Please let me run to Psalm uh, 76. Someone on the sound of my voice. Begin to run to 76. The Psalm of Asaph again. Asaph up to 83. Up to Psalm 83 is Asaph. So I welcome you again for another time to the tent of Asaph, to the household of Asaph out the son of the Levi, the, the, the Geshem, the Levite. Uh, the, the title is The Majesty of God in Judgment. Let me say The Majesty of God in Judgment. That is Psalm 76. That is what you will see there. This one is special to Asaph. This one is another, the second special one to Asaph, to the chief musician. They, they will be composed to be kept on a string instrument. Clear instruction. I speak to someone. I say, clear instruction. For the second time, Asaph is writing a psalm of Asaph and a song. So it's neither a song or a psalm. It's neither a poem or a song. It's a mixture of everything. It's this excitement please help me look at it it's all together he wrote it all, all together about uh, 12 verses someone not understand on my voice we will begin to clear and yank through it in the mighty name of jesus in judah god is known his name is great in israel help me begin to dec decree as you're walking as you're marching through i said in our house jikima in this household the lord is known help, declare it decree it and declare that before the throne of grace his name is great in israel the, his name is great in our land his name is great in our home i said in judah let me say, it. in Remy, a God is known. He will personalize it. And his name is great in our household. Be declare that. Put up a banner and raise it before the heavens. I said, in Judah, God is known. In our household, God is known. And his name is great in Israel. In Jesus' mighty name. A verse 2 says, in Salem also is in the tabernacle. And his dwelling place is in Zion. Let me look at 3. Verse 3, therefore, he broke the arrows, uh, the arrows of the bow and the shield and the sword of battle. He will break every bow, every shield of battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, any shield, any arrow against every arrow of affliction, every form of arrow, every arrow of sorrow, this God will break it as I'm walking through. I said, let them be broken. I send it back to sender. Someone has not spoken in the mighty name of begin to send it back to sender. For it is written, whosoever dig the dig, dig, uh, pit, we fall in it. Whosoever send the arrow, we take it back. Yeah, came we receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody help me decree that as you are coming through. Because the Bible says in verse 4 of Psalm 76, it said, you are more glorious and excellent than the mountain of prey. Help me declare the glory of God. Let me declare the awesomeness of God. According to 76, Psalm 76 verse 4, they said it's more glorious. See, it's more glorious and excellent than the mountains of prey. Declare that in your home. Declare that in your life. Declare that over every situation. I say, God, you are glorious and excellent. You will do that which only you can do in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, verse 6, please let me jump to verse 6. At your rebook, O God, of uh, Jacob, both the chariots and horses were cast into deep sleep in the mighty name of the, I said at uh, the rebook of God I said chariots and horses of my enemy will be cast into deep sleep because the Bible said according to Zachariah I please say Zachariah 3 2 he said uh, the Satan the Lord rebukes you you came uh, the, it, uh, the, the Satan the Lord rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus uh, so I declare that I said every chariot and horses of the evil one of the devil I said they will be cast into a deep sleep in the mighty name of Jesus so shall it be in Jesus mighty name if you look at verse 7 8 and 9 it, I will call it ex ex Soberant declaration of the faith begin to stand with me as you are riding through that you yourself are to be feared O God and that they may stand in your presence when once you are hungry I say you are to be feared I declare that uh, you cause judgment to be heard from heavens and the heart feared and was still I speak that boldly about God I say when God arose to judgment to deliver all the oppressed of the earth Selah, I said Lord you will arise in the, again in the mighty name of Jesus I read for that I said surely the wrath of man shall praise you with the reminder of wrath you shall guide yourself I begin to declare. He said, Make vows to the Lord your God and pay them. Let all who are around him be, bring present to him who ought to be feared. That is an advice. I'm speaking to someone, verse 11, 76. He said, Make your vows to the Lord your God, but make sure you pay them. Whatever you have vowed to God, I speak to someone, I'm speaking to warriors. I said, Make sure you pay them. I'm speaking to redeemed children of God. I said, Let all who, you, who are around him bring present to his house and those who uh, to him who ought to be feared, the God who ought to be feared, let your present go to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, because it shall cut off the, the spirit of princes and it is awesome to the to the king of the earth. The, the, it shall cut off the spirit of princes. Help me look at that and begin to decree as you are coming out. God, you will cut off the spirit of the princes. Help me decree that. Uh, the spirit of the princes, I'm talking about the prince of this world, uh, the, the ruler of this world. I'm talking about the evil ruler of this world. He said you will cut off their spirit uh, because the, the 
God, Jesus said in the book of John, according to John chapter 14, verse 30, he said, the ruler of this world, he said, therefore, I will talk no much with you. For the prince of this world will, will come and he will find nothing. He has found nothing in me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that. I said, the prince of this world, you will take, you will cut the, the spirit of the prince of this world, the spirit of worldliness, you will cut it off in the mighty name of Jesus. That's what you are saying as you come out in Jesus' mighty name. Please help me look at 77 or together 20 verses is also a psalm of uh, asaf help me uh, look at it but to a man gentum uh, to a man jedun i want you to look at jedun very well the is a levite of this household of merari we have come across jedun before in 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 verse in chapter 29 psalm 29 and 62 and now the 77 those are the three the three i uh, titled psalm where this particular person was mentioned uh, 39, 62, and 77. They is one of the Levites from the third tribe, from the third uh, ruling family of the Levites. Uh, altogether, there are three, Geshem, Konath, and uh, Merari. And that is the lineage of Merari. You see this great man that you're going to, this uh, uh, scripture, you see him in First Chronicle chapter 16, verse 41. First Chronicle chapter 16, verse uh, 41. And First Chronicle chapter 16, verse 42 you will see him that he uh, was meant to work with amen they were all levites they it, it, responsible for the instrument in the house of god it was responsible for the instrument in the house of god too so this psalm is written and specifically given to this particular man a psalm of asaf let me say a psalm of asaf psalm 77 20 verses in all let's begin to cry out to the lord as we're going to bring this to a close i cry out to god with my voice and to god with my voice not with anyone's voice i say someone under the sound of my voice he said i cry out verse 1 to God with my voice and to God with my voice and he gave ears to me he will give ears to you someone who is walking through and we will cry out to God you, you I give is a word of affirmation that this Lord will give ears to you he will answer you he will listen to you in the days of trouble verse 2 says I saw the Lord my hand was stretched out in the night without season somebody who is rising I'm speaking to dawn wickers people who are rising up in the middle of night to pray and my soul refused to be comforted he said but I cried to him but I remember God and I was troubled I come complained and my spirit was overwhelmed according to verse 3 here came I, I you hold my eyes lid open I was troubled but I cannot speak but I have considered the days of old and the years of ancient times I call to remembrance my song in the middle of the night that's where I'm going I meditate my heart and my spirit makes delight such begin to pray that God I call to remembrance I don't know your prayers your tears your meditation your fasting please begin to call them to remembrance according to the word in 77 let me say 77 verse 6 I call to remember begin to call all my song in the middle of the night all my meditation oh god all my cry somebody under the sand all my whatever you have been doing whatever you have been saying before the lord call them to remembrance before him if you can step into the throne of grace if you can go further into the throne of remembrance and begin to speak to god and say lord god you came out upon this throne i call you you god remember me at this junction i call to remembrance begin to call god to remembrance the, your your song in the night begin to call god to remembrance every meditation within your heart according to psalms epistle psalm 77 7, verse 6 may the lord hear you as you call each and every day into remembrance before the lord that god do not forget me the days of visitation the days of special conference the days that you've been rising begin to call them to remembrance the days of your seed the seed sowing begin to call them to remembrance before the lord i because as his mercy in jesus name and the lord will hear you in jesus mighty name he said as his mercy verse 8 says forever as his promise filled forevermore he said no i want you to say no because no his mercy they are forever they are forever his mercy is forevermore help me declare that they will not cease the mercy of god will not cease in my household as i'm passing through the state i will i'm walking through i'm looking through but i declare as i'm going that as for me more as i'm walking through the, this i said mercy will not cease in my life in the, the mercy of god will not cease you have not spoken i'm speaking to a warrior i'm speaking to a child of god i'm speaking to mothers in israel i said the mercy of god will not cease over your children in the mighty name of jesus i'm walking through the the psalm of asaf the meditation of Assam, the contemplation of Assam, a psalm and a song. I said, His mercy will not cease in our household in the mighty name of Jesus. If verse 12 says, I will also meditate on all your works and talk of your great deeds. Somebody under the sound of my voice, 77 12. He said, I will meditate on your good works and talk of your deeds. Someone under the sound of my voice, we will look and say, God, you have done so great thing. You have done so well. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Be begin to thank the Lord. Because the Bible says, We should hold 
<laughs> unto him. Faithful is he that promise I speak to someone. We, we talk of your deed. We are forever faithful. In our life, you are faithful. In our way, you are faithful. Your way, O oh God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great as God, our God? Help me look at it. Psalm 77, verse 13. Your way, O oh God, begin to declare is in the sanctuary. Who is as great as, uh, as our God? For the psalmist said in 1830 that your ways, O oh God, is perfect. As for the Lord, his way is perfect. Someone number this sound of my phone. Who will declare that the ways of the Lord is perfect in the mighty name? He will perfect that which concerns me. You have not spoken. He said the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Someone under the sound of my voice. According to Psalm 138, verse 8, he said he will perfect that which concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have with uh, verse 15, let me jump into 15. You have with your hands redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. I will declare that. I will flip it around. I will turn it around. I will say unto the Lord that you have with your own hand, O oh God. You have redeemed me, your people, our family, our home. I begin to declare that whatever the Lord has redeemed from every trouble, from every sickness, you have redeemed us, O oh God. And we thank you. This We are thanking the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. He said the water saw him in verse 16. Let me stand on this as I walk out of this place. He said, the water stand they saw you, O oh Lord. The water saw you and they were afraid. Let me stand. And the dead also trembled. The trembled. He said, he said, the water saw you, verse 16 of Psalm 77, and they were afraid. It reminds me, if you can run to the tent of David, uh, Psalm 114, Psalm 114, he said, and the sea saw it, he came out, and the flight, Jordan turned back, whatever is like sea before me, I say, hear ye the word of God, you will, you will roll back, here. you will be driven back, you have not spoken, I speak to every water of life, I speak to every trouble, I speak to every challenges, I say, you are moving back, I say, you will make way in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to you mountains, according to the word of God, he said, mountains skip like uh, like ram. I said, begin to skip before me. Little hills, you will skip like little lamp. I speak. I, I now speak to, to the sea. I said, what hills you, O sea? I can it to Psalm 114, verse 5. And to say, why you fled? O Jordan, why you turn back? I speak to every situation in my life. I said, what hills you? What is the problem? Why did you turn back? Because the God, my God, is here. Someone know that the sound of my voice will be begin to declare the power of God. The cloud pour out water. Help me look at verse 17 of 77. Help me look at it as we're coming out. The cloud pour water. The sky sent out sound. Your arrow also flash about. The voice of our God was thunder. Uh, uh, the voice of your thunder was in the weird wind. The lightning light up the world and the heart tremble and shook according to verse 18. Begin to declare the power of God over that situation. I said thunder with hey, over that situation. Whatever is yours that is uh, trapped. Whatever is yours that is being uh, 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 trapped. I say hear you the word of God. Thunder must strike. Somebody has not spoken. I said, concerning my situation, thunder must strike in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever is holding my, 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 my destiny, I said, thunder must strike. Whosoever is holding your blessing, I said, thunder must strike. I speak to every power, every principalities and power. I release the thunder of God to go from the throne of grace to strike through the heavenlies, O oh God, to scatter every gangrene in the mighty name of the every gathering, every evil gathering to be scattered in the mighty name. I call forth thunder in the weird wind, begin to call forth thunder let it go ahead. Let it strike through with the blood of Jesus. Let it go with power in the mighty name of Jesus. The wonderful, the wondrous work of God. I call the wonders to do one great things in Jesus' mighty name. Begin to call out thunder to begin to go forth in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says your ways was in the sea, your path in great waters, and your foot step where not know. You walk in great waters. I'm talking about great challenges, uh, great troubles, uh, but I speak to someone at the sound of my voice who is coming out of this tent with us tonight. We will say, the Lord walk in great waters. I speak to you. I say, according to verse 19 of Psalm 77, your, his ways was in the sea and his path in the great waters. Your footprint, he said, they were not known. If I were you, I would turn it around and I will see every great water before me. The, the Lord will walk through it. He walk in the great sea, in the great waters, in the great troubles. He came out Every spiritual, emotional waters. I'm speaking about troubled situation. I said the Lord God will walk through in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. We pray and so shall it be in Jesus' name. I welcome you as you come out. This is series one of the volume three. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord will honor you as you come out in the mighty name of Jesus. The tent of Asaph, I speak to someone that the set, your set time has come in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone under the sound of my voice. I said the Lord will surely visit you. In this season, in the mighty name of Jesus, I said, it will make you laugh. It will make you rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I speak to someone that let your destiny begin to come forth as you are coming out of the tent of Asaph, as you are singing and you are coming and you are thanking God for the great thing that he has done, for the greater things that he will do. May the Lord locate you. I said, I speak to someone, your labor will not be in vain. You have, you are not. I speak to someone, I said, divine epa will come to your head in the mighty name of Jesus. I say to someone, your household, will, you will not be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone under the sound of my voice. I say, your finance, you can, the blessing of God will come upon it in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone, Yeke Makosoto, you will drink of the rivers of pleasure in the mighty name of Jesus. I say to someone, you will not fall into the pit of life in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone, you will not falter in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone, the spirit of error will not come upon you. Yeke Makosoto, I speak to someone under my voice. I say, the Lord will guide you in everything in the mighty name of Jesus. I say to someone, the spirit of wisdom will not elude you in the mighty name of Jesus. It will not depart, it will not cast you, it will not move away from you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say to someone, the anointing of God will not depart in your life. I speak to someone in the, in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the fire of the Holy Spirit will come all over you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will receive fire, the power of God and signs and wonder will follow in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone they will protect, it will build a, a wall of protection around you in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to another, I say hear ye the word of God, it will bless the work of your hand according to his word in Job chapter 1 verse 10 in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone, I say hear the word of God it will increase you in every area. The little one shall become a thousand. And the, the small one, a mighty nation. The Lord himself will speed it up in your life according to his word in Isaiah 60, 22. I speak to someone, I say, he will do marvelous things in your life if you believe him. I speak to someone, I said, every water flood will not overflow you. You will not be flooded in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to someone, I said, hear ye the word of God. Great, great and marvelous things will begin to happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, I speak to someone, I said, some of you, your land will flourish again in the mighty, that business will flourish again in the land of the living, that health will flourish again in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to someone, I said your children are protected the arrow of the enemy will not strike them in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to someone, I said there will be divine rain, there will be rain upon your field in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to someone, I said the Lord will not depart in the mighty name of Jesus I speak to another, I say hear you the word of God and your enemy will be subdued in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to someone, whatever is trapped in the pits, I said let it begin to come earth in the mighty name of whatever is just that has your name let them begin to come forth to you in the mighty name of jesus i speak to someone your enemy will met like wax before the fire in the mighty name of jesus every principalities and power will disappear in jesus mighty name i speak to someone uh, under the sound of my voice i said there shall be no hindrance in the jesus mighty name whatever you do you will not there won't be any interest nobody will stand in your way in the mighty i speak to another i said you're movable in the mighty name of jesus you will not be shaken in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, I speak to someone, I say, nobody will come against you or, or block your way in the mighty name. I speak to someone, I say, the Lord will do it again. Ye came son to someone under the sound of my voice, who is walking, who is trapping, who is trapping. I said, the Lord will do it again in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to another, I say, you will not be distracted. Someone under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be distracted in Jesus' mighty name. You will not be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will not be distracted with whatever you are doing in Jesus' mighty mighty name you will not live an ordinary life i speak to someone i said the glory of god will come upon that which you are doing and we make the little thing to be the the ordinary things to become extraordinary in the mighty name of jesus the glory of god will come down upon you in jesus mighty name once again my name and we all say amen once again my name is remy kende Taiwo. this is the end of series one volume three of the book of psalms as i welcome you in the presence of god i declare be in this place that we will continue to worship the lord together that the lord will do it again he will do it again he has done it before we we'll do it again we have started it we will finish this volume three together it's getting hotter it's getting bigger we are going through the scriptures we will see the lord together i said surely i speak to someone the lord will visit his people he will visit your t your tent in jesus mighty mighty name in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Once again, good morning, greeting.